Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today's project is a drill press table. I know, I know, another drill press table build, but wait, what I can tell you about this build is I scoured the internet for you, and I came up with a design that is both fairly simple to build, has amazing dust collection, and also only uses a two foot by four foot piece of plywood for all the wood material. Now let's get started. Now it's time to cut the T-Track. Now there are a lot of different options for how to cut this aluminum T-Track. I know a lot of people will just use a regular wood miter saw, which I have done in the past, but to be honest, it always seemed a little sketchy. Another few options are a metal grinder or even a hacksaw. But what my go-to option is, is the Evolution saw. Now these saws have a special blade as well as they spin on a different RPM as a normal miter saw, which make it perfect for cutting all the different materials, including metal or wood. I will include a link to the saw in the description down below, as well as these amazing T-Tracks I'll be using.
The heart of the dust collection system is this dust port I designed that attaches right to the fence. Most of the drill press tables I've seen have a dust port collection built underneath the table. With this setup, it's kind of like someone holding a vacuum hose right where you need it to be. I just hook it up to my rigid stop vac and I'm ready to go. If you're interested in adding this type of dust collection to this project or any others you might have, I will provide the link in the description below. So here's the completed table. If you're interested in building this yourself, I have a link to the detailed plans in the description. Now this is the first time I have used a track system like this, and I'm sure I'll be using it in more builds to come. It was really oddly satisfying using that palm router to carve the channels and then slide in the track. If you do have any questions at all about this project, please leave them in that comment section below. I do try hard to respond to all the comments I get. Well, maybe not the mean ones, but all the rest I'll, I'll get back to you. If you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. And as always, with any DIY project like this, done is better than perfect. We'll see you next time.